Debris from an Iranian rocket littered this part of the desert in southern Israel, where Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu faced growing pressure from allies on Monday to show restraint as he considered how to respond to Iran's weekend missile and drone attack. A government source said Netanyahu met with his war cabinet Monday for the second time in 24 hours following the Iranian strikes. This is an Israeli decision to make, um, whether and how they'll respond. White House National Security Spokesperson John Kirby on Monday said Washington was not involved in Israel's decision on if and how it might respond. The weekend attack involving more than 300 missiles and drones caused only modest damage in Israel and no deaths. Most were shot down by Israel's Iron Dome defense system and with help from the U.S., Britain, France and Jordan. President Biden instructed the United States to defend Israel to the maximum extent possible and defeat that attack. And we did. With the support of our partners, the United States enabled Israel to spectacular, spectacularly defeat it. And now those allies were urging Netanyahu not to raise tensions any further. The United States is committed to Israel's security. From the Oval Office, President Joe Biden affirmed Washington's support for Israel. Speaking in Parliament, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said he planned to speak with the Israeli leader. I will also shortly be speaking to Prime Minister Netanyahu to express our solidarity with Israel in the face of this attack and to discuss how we can prevent further escalation. Iran launched the attack over a suspected Israeli airstrike on its embassy compound in Syria on April 1st that killed seven Iranian Revolutionary Guards officers, including two senior commanders. Italy, which holds the rotating presidency of the group of seven major democracies, raised the possibility of the G7 discussing new sanctions against Iran following the attack. The attack against Israel has been a big mistake. In an interview with Reuters, Italian Foreign Minister Antonio Tajani said new sanctions would need the backing of all the G7, which includes Italy, France, Germany, Canada, Japan, Britain and the United States. We need to be very prudent. We need to work for a de-escalation. He suggested any new sanctions would be focused on individuals rather than whole nations.